The Phoenicians by Brenly, Ryan, and Devon. The Phoenician Empire lasted from 1500 to 65 BCE. The Phoenicians were led by a very important leader named Ithbal. The Phoenicians were skilled sailors, and throughout 1100 to 800 BCE, they controlled the trade of most of the Mediterranean Sea. They used it for benefits like trading, selling maps, and helping the landlocked Persians in exchange for independence. The Phoenicians traded valuable items like snails, which contained purple dye that was a royal color used in robes for kings. Also, the Phoenicians traded sturdy wood that could be used for ships and other things. They traded for important resources like silver, copper, gold, salt, ivory, cloth, cedar, oil, glass, dye, and grain. While the Phoenicians traded, they used carefully drawn out maps during the day. At night, the Phoenicians would use the stars to navigate their ships to their many trade ports. The trade ports included places like Crete, Carthage, Babylonia, Gades, Sardinia, Assyria, Calchas, Rhodes, Persia, and more. Phoenicians not only made maps for themselves, they also created fake maps drawn with sea monsters to frighten whoever crossed the sea. The, these fake maps were later used by many famous sailors, including Fernanda Magellan. They said that they knew a secret passage way around the monsters, which made everyone buy the maps from them. But the maps led them to false destinations. By doing this, they made other empires nervous to cross the sea, gold and silver in, pay in a payment for the maps, and became the biggest trading empire in the Mediterranean Sea. In Phoenicia, they had many of their own marketplaces, or as they call them, bazaars. In these bazaars, Phoenicians bought and sold exotic items. To keep up with their thriving trading market, with themselves and other countries, they created a writing system that contained 22 symbols. Their writing system was later used in a lot of languages, including the famous Greek. Many languages were derived from Greek. This means the Phoenician language is a base for a number of languages, including English, which you can see how some of the letters are the same. In 539 BCE, the Phoenicians were conquered by the Persians. Then, after 207 years, they were conquered again by Alexander the Great in 332 BCE, who led Macedonia. They joined the Roman Empire in 65 BCE, and the Phoenicians were still living today in Lebanon. The Phoenicians taught us many things that we still use today, and without their writing system or writing usage today would be dr drastically different. A special thanks to our sources, malta.lebanese.org and lostcivilizations.net and Jewish Virtual Library.